Detroit Lions fall to the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. Let's talk about it. Did you that you were a Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. On this channel, we do predominantly Detroit Lions content with three live streams a week. So if you decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell, set it to personalized so you just get the content you want. And I want to take a moment to thank everybody for getting me to 18,000 subs. And it's amazing because I didn't have to buy a single one. So thank you guys so much. The Detroit Lions fall to the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. Uh, my gut said we was going to win. That came Friday morning. It was just a feeling. But I was wrong. I was right in the first quarter, but it doesn't matter if the Detroit Lions can't finish the game. They fall to the Green Bay Packers 35-17. to after a phenomenal first half of solid football from the Detroit Lions, they just simply unravel during the second half, scoring no points, being shut out in the second half of the game. Aaron Rodgers came alive, and that was all she wrote. They got the, the Green Bay Packers got the ball the second half, and that was that. Never look back. Let's go over some stats like we usually do. The first downs, the Lions had 19 to the Packers 25. Uh, passing first downs, the Detroit Lions had 11 to the Packers, 16. Rushing first downs, 7 for the Lions, 5 for the Green Bay Packers. Seemed like more than that because the, the Packers were running all over the place. First downs from penalties, 1 for the Detroit Lions and 4 for the Green Bay Packers. The Detroit was a lot of penalties for them this evening. Third down efficiency, Detroit went 4 for 9, Packers went 5 for 9, so very close there. Fourth down, Detroit was 0 for 2 to the Green Bay Packers, uh, zero for zero. They didn't even have to go for it. Total plays. The Detroit Lions run ran 84 last week. So they ran 28 less this week at 56 to the Green Bay Packers 61. Total yards. They outdid the Packers by 20 with 344 to 323 for the Packers. Total drives, nine. It was a lot of nine for the Detroit Lions and 10 for the Green Bay Packers. It was a lot of clock. I mean, the first half straight flew past. The Detroit Lions had the ball for the first seven minutes. The Packers had it for the next six and a half, and that was the end of the first quarter. Both teams scoring on their opening possession. Uh, yards per play, 6.1 for the Detroit Lions, 5.3 for the Packers. Passing yards, uh, 236 for the Detroit Lions, 227 for the Green Bay Packers. Completion, Jared Goff throwing the ball 57 times, came, by, came down 21 and threw, went 26 for 36. He missed one pass in the first half altogether. Aaron Rodgers only missed five going 22 for 27. Yards per pass, 6.4 for the Lions uh, and 7.6 for the Packers. Interceptions thrown, one for the Detroit Lions, zero for Aaron Rodgers. Sacks lost. The Detroit Lions actually got three sacks on Aaron Rodgers and they have six on the season. That's more than I thought, and they sacked Jared Goff one time. Rushing yards, 108 for the Lions to 96 for the Packers. It seems like more than that. Rushing attempts, 19 for the Detroit Lions, 31 for the Packers. Yards per rush, 5.7 for the Lions, 3.1 for the Packers. That is insane, and we still lost this game. Red zone, Detroit, both teams were perfect going 2-for-2 two for, two for the Lions and 4-for-4 four for, four for the Green Bay Packers penalties murdered us was on a row and then we had like three consecutive penalties in a row uh, we had nine penalties for 78 yards for five for the Green Bay Packers turnover two we had a fumble lost by Jared Goff and a interception thrown none for the Green Bay Packers time of possession 26 35 for the Detroit Lions and 33 25 for the Green Bay Packers takeaways from this game Detroit looked phenomenal in the first half. Jared Goff missed one pass, no turnovers. Run game was going. Jared Goff looked more calm than he did last week. Then didn't have one incompletion, which was actually thrown in the dirt. He was getting sacked, and they called an intentional grounding. That was his only incompletion of the first half. The run game, solid at first uh, during that first half. And the Lions score on their opening drive. And then the drive, uh, their third drive as well. It was back and forth, and they had the lead in these at the end of the of the first half. The game unraveled in the second half. The Packers got the ball back, and from that point on, the rain started, and the Packers ran ran away from it. Uh, the Detroit Lions got away from their run. The run was working. 
getting gashed up the middle. Jamal Williams was having his way. DeAndre Swift was having his way as well with some, some middle runs and being outside as well. And we got away from that. Well, there was no need to. We did go down early in the second half to the Packers, but there was no need to get away from the run. We did it anyway. It wasn't like it was, it was last week where we were so far behind we couldn't do anything but throw the ball. Not sure what happened there, but uh, I am disappointed in that. Jared Goff needs to be more, after having a near-perfect first half, he just needs to be more calm, more collected, and he needs to do, be smarter with the ball. Okay, Quintez Cephas showed out, almost made the best catch I've ever seen. Uh, Odell Beckham-like had he caught that, that pass, but he showed up today. But we have a problem. The Detroit Lions have a problem. Now, I know a lot of you you guys might be here in 10 and 6 or 10 and 7, 10 win team. We have a problem. TJ Hawkinson was our leading two weeks in a row, our leading receiver. That is a problem. We have been telling you for weeks and for months that the Detroit Lions does not do not have a number one receiver. That, my friends, is an issue. We got to get a number one. Trinity Benson, who we gave up two draft picks for next year, was in the game, one catch, 23 yards. He was in the game at the end. He's been here about three weeks or so. Got to get acclimated to the playbook. By week four, week five, this guy got to be started. Uh, shout out to our rookie, Melifon Wu. Came out with stride for stride with Devontae Adams. Popped a hammy. He might be out for a week or two. I'm not sure. But he, he came in here. We did well not to have our number three overall pick in 2020 in the game. Defensive line stepped up. Trey Flowers with some pressure. Michael Brockers, Nick Williams. Um, looking, it, They looked improved. They still got a lot of work to do. Got it. We, we pretty much bottled up the run, but we couldn't stop it. Like We couldn't really corral. It was bottled up, if you get what I'm saying. It seems like they had way more yards because Aaron Jones has some receiving yards as well. And in that first half, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers just couldn't get going, and then he did, and that was it. So... The Detroit Lions uh, got a lot of work to do. Uh, if, you're, if you're calling for Dan Campbell to be fired, stop it. This guy has a six-year contract and at least a three-year rebuild. We have to rebuild all the stuff that Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia tore down. Okay, so stop that nonsense. That is not a possibility. Okay, that is not going to happen. We have had the 32nd-ranked defense or, or bottom five or bottom three for the last two years. We have some work to do. You have to be patient. And the last thing I'm going to say is that we have been covering this team for years. If we're telling you this is going to happen, we're, we're, we're not saying that we're right, but we're pretty spot on. So if you're hearing 10 wins, you need to just throw that out. Throw that out. The Lions are not going to win 10 games, okay? It's not going to happen. So you got to take it one week at a time, okay? Our schedule is absolutely brutal, okay? So... Right now, let's just focus on the Baltimore Ravens. We got to take one game at a time. Our focus now is stopping Lamar Jackson, okay? Leave it in the comments below. What do you think about Dan Campbell's second uh, time as a head coach, his second game? What do you think about the overall offense and defense? Let me know. Leave it in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is the Grid and Blitz. You guys are amazing. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Ring that notification bell for more live streams and Detroit Lions content. I want to see you in the next video. Go Lions.